Hi there, Helen Wilkie with your five minute author notes. Today's episode is going to be of particular use to you if you are a speaker or a trainer. If you do any kind of presentations on the subject area that you're going to be writing your book about. And I have used this with my clients as well as with myself in my own books. And so I know that this works really well. And that is, if you start with your what you say and simply type it instead of saying it, this is the opposite from talking your book. So you're actually taking your, your speech or your keynote or your training program and typing it out as your first draft. Now, the first time I had experience with this was when I first started to do my 19 minute author programs. And one of my early clients was a fellow speaker. And this woman does keynote speeches as well as, as uh, trainings. And I think I've done three books with her now. And it was amazing because we did it on Skype and then recorded it. And she simply sat there. I asked her the 10 questions that she had set out. But the answers to the questions, she simply sat there and gave her keynote, which was excellent because the transcript that I was then able to get was easy for me to, to um, edit. Uh, it was just a matter of... Uh, of course, it had to be adapted to the written word, but it was very easy to do and it was easy for her. And since then, I realized what a great thing this is for me to do. And so I have, a I have worked for a number of years with uh, accountants, accounting firms, teaching them how to write. And I, it's not just a keynote, this is a whole workshop that I do. And of course, there are many modules in that workshop, each one which was very suitable to be a chapter in a book. So I wrote a book called Make Your Words Count, A Short Painless Guide to Business Writing for Accountants. And that book is simply the book form of the, the workshop that I've done. The chapters are the same as the modules and the, a lot of the information is the same. Now, of course, it had to be adapted. It had to be um, fairly substantially edited at the end of it to make it a book form. But it still gave me a really good skeleton to work from. In fact, more than a skeleton, I actually had quite a lot of flesh on it. What a gruesome metaphor. <laughs> anyway, um, I, the other useful thing about doing this, and I found this to be very true for me, and I'm sure it will be of you, when you talk, when you actually just give your keynote speech or your training program and write it instead of speaking it, it helps you to get your voice across because it literally is your voice. It's the way you would say things so that the material, the book comes out being very much your voice. People have said to me, when I read your books, it's as if I hear you speaking. And that's what you want to hear because that makes it very easy also for the reader. So if you're a trainer or if you're a speaker or even if you have already recorded some of your speeches or your, your training programs, start with those. Use those as your basis and then you can fill in the, the blanks as you go. Now, one more thing. When you're adapt, this is part of the adaptation process, but you will have to flesh out your notes after you've done your first draft because you will say you have opportunities to say more in your book than you do in a training program where it comes out of your mouth and it's said and it's done. But in a book, you can expand on things. You can also put links to websites where people can download further resources. And so there's many things that you can do. And perhaps I'll talk about that in a future video. But for now, if you're a speaker or a trainer, think about how you can take something that you already have and make it into your book. And I'll talk to you next week.